I am Anil Kumar and here is a technique to factor trinomials with degree of 4. Well, these trinomials can be written as trinomials with degree 2. We will see how and we will also learn how to factor them. So the question is factor x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 6. I have two of them similar kinds. Similar in the way their degrees are degree of the trinomial is 4. x to the power of 4 plus 10x square y plus 9y square. When we say degree is 4, that means the highest exponent of any term is 4, right? So this is the highest exponent. Now, in such cases, what you can do is, you can substitute, let us say, x square as p. In that case, x to the power of 4 will be p square, right? So if I do this substitution here, what do I get? x to the power of 4 is p square, so I'll write, so let me do the substitution on this side, okay? So I get p to the power of 2, x to the power of 4 is p square, plus p minus, this is what I get. Now that is a trinomial which we know how to factor. We are looking for now two numbers, whose product is minus 6, right? So let's say a and b are two numbers whose product is equals to minus 6 and whose sum is 1. So minus 6 means a positive sign, higher one positive, positive sum. And that is, these two numbers are 3 and 2. And higher one will be positive, lower one will be negative. So we can factor this as p plus 3 times p minus 2. Now what is p? p is x squared. So we'll write x squared back into the equation. So it is x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 2. Now that is the factored form in the domain of integers. So at present we are restricting ourselves in factoring with integers. Okay. Now let's do the next one. Now here Again, we have a similar situation. x to the power of 4 plus 10x square y plus 9y square. So let's substitute x to the power of 4 as p square and x square as p. So we are using the same substitution. So let me write here substitution. So this will apply for both of them. Okay. So if I do that, then what do I get? The equation gets transformed, I should say the expression trinomial gets transformed and now can be written as p square plus 10 py plus 9 y square. At this stage we are looking for two numbers a and b whose product is equal to 9 y square, remember 9 y square and whose sum is 10 y, coefficient of p. The two numbers are 9y and y. So when you multiply, you get 9y squared, correct? So we can factor this and write the equation as p plus 9y times p plus y, right? Now substitute back p as x squared. So we get x squared plus 9y times x squared plus y. So in the domain of integers, remember, in the domain of integers we are working on. <clears throat> this is how we factor. Soon you will learn in the domain of rational numbers, real numbers and in complex numbers we can actually further factor them. Okay, let's leave it for grade 10 and 11. Thank you and all the best.